Hey guys! Uh, sorry, this book rambles podcast is a bit late. It's actually my fault. It's my fault. Why we're late? We we're gonna get this done earlier. And Val was a good bean, <laughs> and she finished her. She finished the book early, and I was reading it. And then I got sick, and then life happened, and then Val went on vacation, and we're like, shit. So the the book the yeah. book rambles is a little late this month, but but. I yeah. went on vacation twice, actually. Oh, you went on vacation <laughs> twice. Okay, so yeah. Val went on holiday twice. Yes. Do you, wait, do you in Canada call it holiday or vacation? Because I know in the UK well, they call it holiday. Oh uh, Well, it depends. Like The first one was actually a vacation because I had a full week off. But the second one would be like a small holiday. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yesterday was... Um, oh, yeah, it's Thanksgiving. Was it? Well, for you guys, it's Thanksgiving, but for us, it's something else. I don't know what Everyone it is. In Ca- in all my Canadian friends say it's Thanksgiving, just the Canadian Thanksgiving. But we have we have Thanksgiving <laughs> later on. Oh, okay. okay. I I'm confused. Actually. Okay, let's talk about the book. We're already we're we're already going. We're already Bottom going. line is, I didn't have work yesterday, so yeah. so you had a holiday. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the book. The book this time, Val picked, and it is The Four Horsemen Legacy, the Four Horsemen series, book one. It's on Amazon right now for... I got it for a dollar. I don't know how much Val got it for. Uh, the first one, for me, was free. Oh, it was free? Yeah, it was. Oh, did you have Kindle That's... Unlimited? Uh, nope. Oh, how is it free? Uh, it, it was... It, I don't know, it was a special at the moment. Oh, okay, well, right I thought... Now, it's... Right now it says that it's one dollar. Oh, okay. One, oh, okay. One Canadian dollar. Oh, no, wait. It's because I'm on the American side of Amazon. Uh, See, I'm, I'm on I'm on Amazon.ca right now, and the book is actually free. Oh, so I guess it's free for Canadians. But, so if but, you're... But it says Kindle, uh, Kindle, sorry, Kindle Unlimited, but I don't have that. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess in Canada... Yay. It's free. Sorry for the weird little cut there, guys. I uh, had a little, my father-in-law pop in real quick. Um, so Val picked this book because it was free for her and it was a dollar for me. <laughs> and let's let's get on to the synopsis. But I do want to point out one little thing right now. And I, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but I'm going to sound like an asshole. Um, <laughs> it said that she was a USA Today bestselling author, the author of this book. And I tried looking it up, and nowhere on USA Today does she show up. It shows up people saying that she's a USA Today author, but they're all from unverified web, uh, virus-ridden uh. websites. And so I'm like, I, I, again, I don't want to be that guy, but I'm like, okay, are you really a USA Today's best-selling author, or are you just saying that you are? I don't think so. Because I... I mean... Because the... Well, cause, and I know that sounds harsh, <laughs> and you see, like, oh, you know, like, a LA Times best-selling author, you see that on so many books, but usually when you Google it, you can find it. Yeah, you can actually And to the fact see. that I, I couldn't find it on any of the USA Today websites or archives, I found that... Unless I'm wrong. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not trying to shit on the author. I just... I, I thought that was weird. Because after I finished the book, um, her grammar was pretty weird. But then yeah. I, but then I, because like I noticed uh, quite a few grammar and spelling mistakes. But then I noticed in the bottom of the synopsis, which I'll read in a minute, it says, "Please be aware that this book is written in British English." That yeah, means- even that, the, it didn't. Well, I I know I'm French, okay, but mm-hmm. to me, it didn't. Feel like it was British English. Yeah, me some either. Words, like they, some words were were like, of course, there were like uh, British sayings and stuff, but it didn't feel that way to me. It really, really didn't. Cause like I read Harry Potter, and Harry <laughs> Potter is fully British, and I read the yeah. British versions. I read the Philosopher's Stone one, not the Sorcerer's Stone, and. That didn't have the issues that this one did, so I don't know if that's an actual 
thing or the artist is or the author is just using it as an excuse again i know that sounds like we're shitting on it and i, I guess i should point out before i read the synopsis for spending a dollar i don't feel like i lost my money oh of course not oh, but I, like the only thing that um made me like double back and wonder if it was really someone from I don't know what USA Today is I guess it's a journal? It's, 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 it's a, like a newspaper thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, if, if we check the product details it doesn't say like usually those people have publishers and stuff. Yeah, but yeah that's another thing I noticed because you can only get it on no Kindle. Publisher. Yeah, you can't and get a physical only, you can't get a physical only, copy. Yeah, yeah. And it's only 152 pages. Yeah, it's really short. Yeah. I mean, usually, look, we've seen before, people who make small books like that, they make a bunch of them. And yeah. And they sell them, like, for between, like, zero and three dollars. Yeah. And people just buy them because it's cheap, but it's not an actual, like, it's not a wonderful read. Yeah. Let's say yeah, it was it was an okay time. Like yeah, yeah. I thought that there, here's the thing. I, let me read the synopsis because we're already going off yeah, on okay, it. Okay, okay. No, it's okay. It's okay because we have a lot to talk about this one. Was okay. So and, and another thing too is I want to say this before I read the synopsis. The synopsis makes the book sound so much worse than it actually is. <laughs> yes, that's true. Well, because there's there's a fucking spoiler in the second sentence. I know. And I didn't. I forgot that when I was reading it, so it was kind of like a little clever thing to me when I was reading it, when I caught this thing, and then it's like, oh, well, it's in the second paragraph of the synopsis. But okay, yeah, anyway. Like the, anyway, the let way me, to make it sound is not actually what really happens in the book. Yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's, 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 let me read the synopsis, because I keep talking okay. about it. Uh, what's worse than being pursued by the four horsemen? Discovering you're the fifth. Variety. I can never say her fucking name. Is it like Verity? Var- is it Verity? Okay, so Verity Jameson's. Okay, Verity Jameson's day switches from the mundane to dangerous when she runs dr- runs down a stranger with her car. Fortunate for V, she can't kill Death. Death, who happens to be one of the four horsemen he's looking for. Um, sorry, Death, who just happens to be one of the four horsemen and he's looking for her. The four horsemen spend life. Preventing the end of the world, not bringing, uh, not bringing on the apocalypse. As gatekeepers of the portals which exist between the human world and the other realms, the team fight to keep the portals closed and the supernatural forces under control. Without their fifth member, the fourth horsemen are losing the battle. Now they found for uh, ve- fucking V. I can't say her stupid name. <laughs> and what they tell her goes far beyond the conspiracy theories V spends her time investigating. A new life for the four dark, sexy, and dangerous men fighting demons, vampires, and fey. Not what V had planned, but hell of a lot more interesting than her boring job at tech support. So what happens when the unbreakable bond of the five takes control in a way none of them expected? And then it says in like little thingies, Please be aware this book is written in British English. That means some spelling and grammar may appear incorrect to some readers. The book has been professionally edited. (laughs) <laughs> also, I kind of, also I sort of noticed like I was looking. Maybe I skimmed past it, but I couldn't find this author crediting her editor in the like thing. No. So it says, and down here, another kind of spoiler thing that shouldn't be here. The Four Horsemen Legacy is the first book in an exciting new paranormal reverse harem series from USA Today best-selling author L.J. Swallow. Now, that entire thing spoils every plot twist in the book. Yeah, and not only that, the disclaimer at the end, kind of, to me, yeah, my opinion, what they said right there is the complete opposite of what it feels like. Yeah, it really did. Yeah, it really does. And so, do you want to just say fuck non spoilers and just go into spoiler talk? Because we just kind of want to talk about this book because it's been a while. So, like I said, it's such a small book, guys. Like we said, it's a hundred and something pages. There's no way to talk about this book in a non-spoilery way unless it would be like five minutes long. So we're just going to skip over it and be... Plus, the whole synopsis spoils it. Like, it spoils everything. And I'm okay with your synopsis, like, giving away certain things, but literally it starts off with you can't kill death, and there's this character that she works with 
and his name is Heath. I will think, I, I thought that was pretty funny. That it was like, oh, he just changed the letter of D, so he's not Death anymore, he's Heath. I'm like, oh, see, that's that's pretty smart. But then there's, like, there's Josh, or jo- Jos? Is it Joss or Joss? Joss. Joss. It's Joss? Okay, so Joss, there's Xander, there's... Fuck, I like him too, what's his name? <laughs> he was, like, my favorite character. Ewan? Oh. Ewan? Ew. Ewan. Ewan. Ewan, yeah. It's like Evan, but with W? Yeah, it's... And so, okay, and like... Another thing that they don't tell you is... It says it's such a short book, and that synopsis sounds pretty meaty. Uh, You spend half the book with her at work. Well, yeah. Like, it's like... It's... This is one of those stories that... You know what, I'm just giving it my rating. For a dollar, for a dollar, three stars. Don't spend more than a dollar. Get it for a dollar or free. Yeah, well, considering that I didn't buy it, um, well, even then, uh, I would give it a two star. I'm definitely not reading it again. And, okay, um, you kind of told me that you went on and read the second one, and there's, like actually juicy bits so i might read the next one but like i did at the big like before you told me that Mm -hmm. i was going like okay that that was like that was that it it was okay but like i'm moving on okay so something that (laughs) uh, that bothers me with this book is the author made it the four horsemen And they bring it up in the book how they're like, oh, well, you know, the Bible was, like, the Bible was spoken, 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 then written, so things are gonna get lost in translation. And I get that, but I'm like, why didn't you just not make them horsemen? Like, why couldn't they just be demons or something? You know what I'm saying here? Yeah. Like, why would you go with the horsemen and then be like, oh, she's the fifth horseman? Or horse person. And I'm like, why can't she just be truth? Why does she have to be a a horseman? Why can't she just be, like, the embodiment of truth? Like, why do they have to go and make her a horseman? Okay, one funny fact. Because I was, like, I I was, like, obsessed with that thing that says that she's a a well-known author. Uh Uh-huh. Were you looking it up, too? Okay, on Goodreads, it says that she joined... Uh, on uh, February 2016, when and the what her website is on the Life Journal. Her web, her so her her official website's on Life Journal. But when I go to the Life Journal one, it says that she's got like uh, her, her own domain now, but it's under construction. And when you click on that. I mean, there is nothing mentioning her work for USA Today. Okay, so that's what. So, oh, so see, that's sketchy. That's sketchy. Like see, it just says, uh, uh, L.J. Swallow is a USA Today best-selling paranormal romance and urban fantasy oath author. Sorry, but like it just. It okay, just here's, here's my thing. The same thing. It says best-selling, but there's only a hundred and five customer reviews. Is it because USA Today might have mentioned uh, a list of best-selling books? Maybe. It, maybe. It, I don't know. But even maybe then... it was a specific genre? I don't know. But well, I, even then, like, freaking, I think Bella Forrest doesn't even have that on, her, on hers. And I, I, saw a shade of, I saw a shade of a vampire in Barnes & Noble the other day. Well, you see? So it's like, it's, it's, it's to me, it's a little sketchy. Yeah. And, and you shouldn't have to put this was written in British English for things to be spelled wrong because I know that color is color like I know that like that makes sense but there were some things that were blatantly spelled wrong oh yeah and, and when, it didn't feel like it was in British English uh, it didn't it felt like okay it felt like it felt like, like sh- no, no, no it felt it felt like an English person 
tried to write supernatural because I'm like, okay, so are they in England? Or are they in America? Because the way they're describing places, it doesn't sound. It doesn't like, like they don't match up. No, it's not like they're one or the other. It's like, like, yeah, the main character would say stuff like bloody, bloody hell, and but like it was, it it felt like forced. Yeah, it felt like they watched the Harry Potter movies. Yeah. And was like, oh, British people say this. British British people say, oh, perfect example. Okay, they called beer beer. They didn't call it a fucking pint. Yeah, I I just That's remembered right. that. They're like, oh, I'll get a beer and a cider, and I'm like, no, it's a fucking pint. They call it pints. I just I just remembered that. Yeah. See, and, and okay, I don't want to bash on the author there, but like, if you if you presented it like this so that you could have more readers or and stuff i mean do, no no that's that's not a way to do it don't say stuff like that yeah I mean, if you believe you sound like you're an english person from england that's fine that, that, that's fine you yeah. do you boo like you say but i'm like don't try to don't try to shit talk stuff like that you can't. Yeah, yeah, don't, like, okay, and again, it sounds like we're I mean, critiquing. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Yeah. This book to I me, this book to me is worth a dollar. This book is worth a dollar. I don't feel yeah. ripped off, but I'm going to critique that book. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so, and this isn't, this isn't her first book either. I just went to her no. Amazon page, and she's got she's one, got two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eighth book coming yeah. out. I th yeah. Um, also, another reason why I don't think she's a USA best-selling author is, and this sounds mean, but the way she does covers is the way I oh. notice lots of lo lots of self-published people do covers. Yeah, it's not like yeah. like because because when you when you do. You do your own cover. There are a lot of people who aren't artistic, and so there there are literally websites that help you make your own cover. We've seen it. We've read a lot of of, of self published yeah. books. Hold on, I'm just okay. I, I I was curious. I don't know which one is that one, but if uh, one of the books is a four ho horseman, sorry, haunted. Yeah. I don't know if it's the 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 second or the third, but it's it's the same girl on the top it just has her head tilted on the right but it's the same position same clothes yeah so that, that's what i'm saying that's what i'm that's saying is I'm, I'm pretty sure that this isn't like an actor they hired to model for the book because that's what a lot of authors will do if you're published yeah. is they'll they'll hire a model so you don't have the same actor on different covers to confuse people yeah and the way she describes the character in the book that's not what I'm seeing. The yeah, I'm seeing me the either. Cover, I don't see her. I mean, I always pictured V like V was cute. I thought she yeah. was like cute, but and and like innocent. Yeah, and innocent. Like in okay, especially in and I'm gonna talk about the second book for a minute. She does. She gets herself done up for a bit, and like she puts on makeup and gets her hair done and wears shoes. And they all like compliment her, like wow. And she's like, yeah, I don't get, I don't do this that often. And I'm like, so why are you done up on the cover? Oh yeah, she's all dolled up. So it doesn't like it doesn't, and and I'm not I'm not saying you can't wear makeup and stuff, but like sh they literally point it out in the second book, and it's a it's a contradictory thing. So like, how it starts off is, and I uh, <laughs> I didn't do it, like I didn't like how, and people must be surprised that I gave it three stars. Again, I gave it three stars because it was a dollar. If this was any more than a dollar because it's like, oh, print listed price six dollars. Don't buy it for six dollars. No, no, no. A dollar or free, it's fine. Yeah. Plus it's a hundred pages so it's like not I'm not angry. I'm just, I'm trying to give critiques here because I can tell she cared about what she was writing but she didn't really get Oh my gosh, she's in love with her characters. Yeah, no, she's that, really in love with her characters. That is one thing. That, okay, no, that is one thing I will say is very good. Her characters, all of them are unique. Yeah. All of them have personality. All of them have different mannerisms of speaking, which that in itself is really hard to come by. So I do give her credit there. Mm -hmm. Or I, I assume it's a she. With a, with a, a, a name like LJ Swallow. And like, that's not a joke. That's actually the author's name. It's just LJ Swallow. <laughs> 
I'm assuming I, right, I'm yeah, assuming just, she's a girl cuz usually females they tend to use their initials. Yeah. You know, not all the time but most of the time. But um, another thing too is like in the okay, in the bottom of the first book, it's like, "Oh, it's a reverse harem." In the yeah. book, only two dudes in the first one are kind of like into her. And she's only well, into well, like well, she's well, she's attracted to all of them. Yeah, but, but, okay, you guys have to know that the attraction is not like, oh, they're cute. No, it's, they physically, like... Yeah, they're hot. Like, like, like the way that she describes them is like... What. She, V even says it at one point, I remember she's like, why are all of these guys hot? Like, she But bring, then they tell her, oh, that's how it works, but we can't ever touch you. Yeah, they bring up, like, we can't touch you, we can't do anything. You know, you're, you're, pretty, you're pretty much a battery. <laughs> And Xander even, a, like, appoints it and is like, watch, I'm gonna make you turn into a fucking lighthouse. Boom! <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, that's what happened, though. But, like, am I wrong? That's what fucking happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, uh, I mean, there wasn't any juicy bits in that book, but there was a lot of build-up. Yeah, there was right? a lot of teasing. And even then, it was, it was with one dude! It was one of them! Like, okay, in the second yeah. one... And I, I don't feel bad spoiling this because it's a 100-page book. Honestly, okay, I feel like if she just made this like a big compendium, yeah, it would be like I'm gonna assume the next one's gonna be like 100 and something pages because the second one wasn't that much longer. Okay. So she could have just made it like a small compendium, 300 something pages, sell it for like five bucks, and it would have been good. Be yeah. I haven't read the third one because the third one's coming out, but. I, I oh, just, it's not out yet. It's not. It's coming out. It's coming out on Halloween. Oh, okay. So, I'm probably gonna read the third one because they're fast reads. So, and I, I kind of want to see where it goes because she fixed a lot of her mistakes in the second one. Okay. Like, there's more character interactions. It's not just Heath. Yeah, because I mean, the the way the story goes is. Um, there's some kind of fuck up about the portals to other worlds and they have to I think they have to find out which one is open. Yeah, one of the portals is open and they don't know which one it is. And they they have to guard it or and close it. And then they go visit that Queen Fay because I actually oh yeah. I like okay, I liked that. that I liked that, that the I liked that the Queen Fay was like a soccer mom. I thought see I'm like see that's creative. That's interesting. I like that. That was a bad, badass sucker. <laughs> I, I know she was a badass sucker, but you know what I mean? It's like, see, that's interesting. But it's like, you, you kind of made the four horsemen like S Dean and Sam from Supernatural. Exactly. That they're like, cause, and then like they, uh, they bring I mean, up I this, they, they bring up this contract. Yeah. And you don't see it. And that kind of pissed me off. Like, oh yeah, there's this contract. And V's not supposed to be stupid. Like, they write her like she's smart. And she's very yeah. intuitive and she wants to learn the truth. I was like, bitch, why don't you want to see this contract? Yeah, that didn't make sense. Because they're like, but oh, because they... Oh, yeah, go ahead. I haven't, I haven't actually watched Supernatural. And I... I, I uh, at the link, I made it, like, 100%, like, in the first few pages. Mm-hmm. It, it's, to it's, me, I'm, I was like, bring up fucking demon portals to hell, like, and and okay, I know that's not just a supernatural thing. I know that's not just a supernatural thing. But when supernatural came out, that's when all those books started coming out with the portal to hell thing. Uh, there were other things in other mediums, but supernatural sort of what made it big, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Like yeah, again, it was always there. Like fae and vampires and shit were always there. But it was that that one thing that kind of made it big, and I liked. Oh well, no, they don't. Oh, never mind. They don't show that in this book. Never mind. Um, I well, because it's so short. That's why I was like, oh yeah, that happened. But um, she uh like <sighs> they just they bring up all this stuff about how like oh yeah, you know, we kind of just woke up one day and you know we were just there we didn't remember yeah, that who doesn't make sense i mean the, the the way that i see it is like okay so well the way they explain it okay yeah. it, it seems like 
they were dropped on the surface of the earth, but they didn't know they, yeah. who they were, but then eventually they did, because like V, she was so sure that she had parents and stuff. Like, and, uh, for, and a roommate. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't. But that's, so that's when else, exactly did she start existing? And that's another thing. That, and that's another thing that, that I, I I thought was weird was they bring up how the 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 four the four guys because I don't feel they comfortable do. calling them the four horsemen because I mean yeah. they're not really the horsemen, but their 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 attributes are based off of the horsemen, which I'm fine with. But again, it's like why didn't you just make them demons? Like it would have been hot anyways. Yeah, well, because, like, and the thing is, too, is, like, like, I said, with Heath, I'm like, oh, that's pretty clever. So I was, like, thinking, I'm like, oh, how, it's, like, is pestil- pestilence and uh, famine and stuff, are they going to, like, anagrams of their names? And it's like, no. Here's Joss and here's Ewan. And I'm like, okay, well, where's War? And they're like, oh, that's Xander. And I'm like, then Heath, what the fuck, dude? Why? why? I don't know. Like, I, like, I was just like, one of those things that didn't make sense to me. I was like, see, that's pretty clever. But then you didn't follow through with it. Because Heath is, like, the first character you're introduced to. Yeah. And I do admit I thought it was funny that she hit him with her car. <laughs> well, yeah, but, it, like, because you know, well, because there is so much in the in the synopsis, you know right away who that guy is. Yeah, you know who it is. Surprise there. So it's like, oh, yeah, she, she hits him. And, like, another and thing, he too. Away. Yeah, he just walks away. And another thing, too, is, like, they bring up how there's, like, Fae and vampires and demons, you only see Faye in this, and they touch it. Because yeah. half of the book is her going to work. Yeah. It's and it's like Oh, and, and, and not only that, it's it's <laughs> her going to work and her being like all um how you call that when someone is uh, like she's a, a a severe conspiracy theorist. Okay, yeah, that's nothing. She's a severe conspiracy theorist. Yeah, but she's but just, yeah. when those guys are there, it's all good. Yeah, it's like okay, they're hot, whatever. Like, that doesn't make but, sense. But she's she's got this blog where she follows people, and she's like, she's making sure nobody knows who she is. Yeah, she's and okay. So- Paranoid. And okay, right. another thing too that I didn't like, and unless they bring it up in the third book, which would be really fucking bad writing, she doesn't meet the dude. Oh, the one they talk about? Yeah, they're like, oh, I have a meeting with this guy from my website. They talk about it like at least three times. Yeah. She never meet him? No, in the second one, she doesn't meet him. So unless in the third one, she meets him, but that doesn't make sense because that's two books later. Damn. That makes sense if it's one long novel, but not two books later. Well, not when you bring such attention to meeting this no, dude. No, 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 no. No, no, but then, okay, but another thing, too, is, like, <laughs> she they build her up as a conspiracy theorist, but she's never heard of fairies. Not only that, she accepts it, like, right away. No, but you know what I mean. It's like, oh, they're fae. What do you mean fae? And I'm like, you're a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. You haven't heard of fae? Do you know what a Slovene is? Okay, not a lot of people know what Slovenia is, but if if you're a hardcore conspiracy theorist, you you know about this shit. Yeah. Or, or, no, and, and if you don't know that much, you at least know of it. So it was like, yeah. so I, I, again, I feel like they that um, LJ. And tw- even if you don't, the word fey sounds too much like fairy. You have to you have to you have to make the 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 link in your head. Yeah. 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 I mean, and, but it, that's just it, and it's like, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, guys, I know we sound like, uh, it, like it's a disappointment, but, I mean, that's that's the part that was a little bit frustrating, maybe. But, I mean... Uh, here's, the, the, here's the problem. I feel if it wasn't as short, it probably wouldn't yeah. be as frustrating. Because it's so no, fucking short. probably develop a little more on the story because like the characters are pretty solid aside from the conspiracy theorist thing yeah but like they they are good characters they are they have a yeah they have a very good working dynamic the premise of the story is like it's got a real good potential but it to me it felt like she was rushing things at some for some parts Mm -hmm. and others she was going way too slow yeah, yeah, it was, it was, the, 
the roller coaster ride wasn't f wasn't flowing naturally. It was like, oh, this is getting good, and now I'm gonna just coast. Yes. And now it's and now it's getting interesting again, and we're gonna drop and we're gonna coast. And it's like, uh, okay, and 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 like. Again, I never would have guessed that it was a reverse harem because the only people who seem to like her a lot is Heath. Joss like yeah, kind of likes think, her. I think the other ones are trying real hard not to not to get to that point because they know that if either one of them tries to make a move on her, she won't resist because she's attracted to them. Yeah. All the, but that's almost the same level, but I mean they have to keep it in their pants. Yeah, but so, something else I don't I don't understand is, and, and this is just a nitpick with the lore she picked, which is why I'm like you shouldn't go with pre-existing lore. Yes, I mean the four horsemen you can you can fuck with it, but it's like okay, so it's like there should have always been a fifth horseman, not like oh just our generation has a fifth horseman, horse person whatever. Yeah, because they're like and, you, you know what I mean. It's like because they, they talk about it. They're like, yeah, I wasn't the first war. I wasn't the first famine. I wasn't the first pestilence, and I wasn't the first death. But she's the first verity. Yeah, she's the first verity, and I'm like, okay. That's... Let me ask you something because mm -hmm. uh, that part confused uh, me a little bit. Uh, all the horsemen have uh, well, n the original names uh, comes from stuff of you know not cool stuff and her name I don't know if it means the same in English but in French it's basically the same term it's just the end that's changing a little bit but it means truth basically it means truth yeah it so means I'm truth trying to figure out how does truth fit in there even if the, the okay, other ones the, aren't good yeah because the, the whole point of the horseman of the apocalypse is they're not supposed to be good things. No. Like, they try to play it off and be like, oh, well, you know, death can also give back life, and pestilence can take away negative things, and yeah, or, or I mean, famine, that... whatever. But it's like, the, 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 the reason why they're war, famine, pestilence, and, and uh, plan, fucking can't say it, whatever. The reason why the Four Horsemen is they're supposed to be the harbingers of the apocalypse, the four things that yeah. will destroy the world, which is starvation, disease, war, and then finally death comes in to clean up the mess. Mm -hmm. Like, And, I mean, if you want to if you want to go in that direction, making them not as bad as they sound, mm -hmm. they, she should have picked a different name for the fifth one, but yeah, make she, it so yeah. that she's... A, good thing oh, but that's why i'm confused i'm like so is she just the embodiment of truth or is she a horse person because truth isn't a bad thing and they're like oh yeah you're a human lie detector and you oh yeah you have yeah. Uh, 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 something happens in the second book i want to talk about but uh. keep keep it in I know, I'm gonna keep it in, but it's... You'll know it when you get to I'm it. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. I know you're gonna oh. read it. I'm gonna read it. And so I was like, I didn't get the harem thing, because, like, again, she thinks that all the guys are hot, but she's not like, oh, I'm in love with all of them. It's like, okay, they're just kind of hot. No, no. It's, it's only a physical thing. Yeah, like, and... Their body literally reacts to the, to the closeness of her, so... Yeah. And, and vice versa. And, like... Nah, it's <laughs> it doesn't sit well with me on that aspect because it's like oh and we it's uh, like because by that logic okay by that logic all the four horsemen should want to fuck each other well yeah but no they say that oh okay we between guys are like brothers so that's why we can't that's why we are able to live with each other no 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 I, 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 and I'm like what? but, but that doesn't make sense. sense that's what I'm saying is you bring her in and I'm like you know what you okay this would have been a good thing too because I, I actually like this premise I do think it's an interesting premise but what you could have done would be like they didn't see her as attractive like they saw the others until she touched them yeah like then it could have been something that like, been nice. like that would have been interesting like and it would be like in subtle ways it wouldn't be like giving him a hug or a kiss it would be like maybe she passes Heath a beer and their fingers touch for a second and there's like this spark suddenly you know 
Or maybe, you know, she, like, sits next to Josh and bumps shoulders with him or something like that. Like, I feel like that would have made more sense. And then, like, they're all suddenly like, okay, why are we attracted to her kind of thing. And they wouldn't know that the others had the same reaction. Yeah, because they wouldn't, because it, it would be There's just a natural thing. Half of them wouldn't talk about it. Yeah. And but that's what I brought up. They're like, oh, well, you know, so she's like, oh, I can't be, like, a sister to them. And I'm like... Okay, well then, why aren't the dudes fucking each other? Like, I- I'm sorry, I know it's vulgar, <laughs> but for them to all want to gangbang her kind of makes me more unsettled. Yeah. Then, like... But, you see, it's I-, I think it's a way for the author to make it so that four guys are... Well, they are all attracted to her, but they won't kill each other because they are brothers. Something like that. Yeah, but see, if they were lovers, it would have made more sense, because then that would be like, oh... Well, yeah. It, it, would make, it would make more sense in that aspect. You know? And, and I'm not it even would. saying, maybe they wouldn't even, like, act on it. Maybe they would be like, this is kind of weird, I'm attracted to a guy, and I don't really know why. You know? Like... Maybe she's not into that. <sighs> Just saying. <laughs> I know, but you maybe can't... I, I, I know. You didn't think that, that far ahead when she did the... When you, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. But I, it's yeah. like I just <laughs> And then when the okay, and then when the magic and the fighting happens, this is another good thing. She's actually really good at, draw, at writing out action scenes. That's also a yeah. hard thing to do. I was like, "Wow, I can feel the movement when the things were when oh, the yeah, people I was, were attacking I was her." Totally and it... picturing everything that I read by the way. Yeah, and I was she, yeah. She describes yeah. She, she describes scenes very well. So that's a plus too. Yeah, so it's like, see that that also made a lot of sense, and I'm like, okay, so this is, so you have you have some notches in your belt, but <laughs> I I I I'm just I'm just people are gonna be like, why'd you give it three stars? Because it's a dollar. Like I I don't know. Since it's a dollar, I don't feel ripped <laughs> off. I I feel like if I had paid any more than that, I'd be like, yeah, no one star, and that might sound like bad, but it's like. Eh? I'm pretty sure I would be pissed. Like if you, if if I did choose the book, well that book, and it was like ten dollars, I would have been pissed. Oh fuck that! Ten dollars? No. Mm. No. 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 Big no. no. And and again, it's <laughs> like and and her writing gets better in the second one, but it shouldn't okay. have to. It shouldn't have to be that way. Oh, poor baby. Also, something else I liked in the second one was they dealt with other things, which I liked, without being a spoiler. Like, because in this one, it's it's a demon and Fey. So I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm like, wait, why are the four horsemen of the apocalypse, which are supposed to be a part of, you know, hell? Yeah. Why are they dealing with Fey shit? And when, why when, when they bring up that they're like, oh, Fey just live here because their world wait. is dead. Yeah. It, wait, uh, he. In the beginning, did he kill the demon or the fae? I, I think it was the fae, right? He killed the fae because it was the purple-haired yeah, guy. Okay. Or the blue-haired guy. Yeah. See, did it, even that didn't make sense. I mean, okay, you deal with death, but... Yeah, but he, that's just it. It's like... To, to, to contain yourself a little bit? Like, it was... He went batshit crazy. Yeah, he went, he like, went ham! And then it was like... Yeah. But then they bring it up in, like... I think in the second one, that's like, oh yeah, he can bring people back from the dead. And I'm like, wait, so why, why, did, why did he bring the fey dude back? Like, like if he could do that, he would have sold everything. It would have been like, my bad, queen. I I, I just kind of lost it for a minute. Yo. No. Yo. Uh, oh, <laughs> fucking some fey name. I'm sorry I snapped your neck. We cool? We cool. <laughs> I don't know if that would have worked, but yeah. Well, it would have been funny. It would it would have meant sense. Because it it's like you, you can't say that he can kill people and then bring back the dead and then be like, well, then why he, why was he in trouble with killing the Fey if it would have just been like, okay, we're just gonna bring him back, tie him up, and interrogate him? Like there you go. But okay, do they do they bring it up again in the in the second book? The fact that he can resurrect people. Yeah, it's kind of like oh, a yeah, big he, thing. He yeah, Xander brings it up. Because there's a moment but between Xander... Does he revive someone at some point? In the book, no. In the second one, no. So but Xander, Xander, brings, Xander brings it up in conversation 
I don't remember fucking how, but it's like, yeah, Xander can't die. Or not Xander, uh, Heath can't die, and none of us can die too. And for, for, uh, V is like, well, why can't we die? He's like, oh, well, Heath will just bring us back. And I'm like, wait, what? Backtrack, what? <laughs> he can just bring people back? Yeah. So, but he can't bring that dead Faye. But he can't bring the dead Faye back. Now, if, like, the Faye's body, like, crumbled away or something, I would have gotten it, but it's like... Hold you on. killed him, and then does you... She go, does she go in description how, like, if there is no corpse, can can he do his thing? Because, you know, if they say they can't die, it, it shouldn't mean that... Mm, but that's, no but that's one, of the, one of those things that I don't understand. Is It's like, we can't die. I'm like, but then how did you become the horseman? If the horseman can't die, then shouldn't you be, like, ancient? Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Unless, unless in, in a later book, it's, yeah, dis- it's discovered, you know, like... Because, like, okay, and here's another cool thing they could have done. Okay, here's another cool thing they could have done. Maybe instead of... Because you don't know about V, because they're like, you know, you didn't exist so-and-so years ago, whatever... So you don't know what V is. She could be a person that made a contract, or she could just be a thing. You don't really know. But it's like, what I think they could have done... Yeah? They knew what they were. Yeah, they knew what they were. No, yeah, they said they knew what they were the second they woke up. Why didn't she know who she was? Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, I'm war, I'm famine, I'm I'm plague, you know, pestilence and plague, whatever. And... I and uh and I'm war or death whatever I'm getting confused yeah it's you like, know it's like so then why aren't you like wake up one day and you're probably like I am truth it's like uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well it, okay and but here's what I'm saying would have been an interesting thing and maybe this happens in a later book it's like what if okay what if like they like, this is what I would have done is okay maybe instead of them being people that signed a contract they don't remember fucking signing, maybe it's like, oh, every, let's say 30 years, they're just like, boom, they're like reborn into new people, like new forms, new bodies, but they're still the people. You you know what I mean? I'm like, see, that would have been something a little different. And it would make sense to why they don't have a lot of memories and why this and that, but then it's like, oh yeah, Yeah, one... The four... four for first horsemen would not know who the other they wouldn't recognize each other yeah but they d- but did. they do well they all show up in the same house except v and they're like yeah. oh well truth was hidden in in the whatever and i'm like okay haha funny metaphor but if that's the case because they talk about waking up in that house in the house that's by her apartment yep. so i'm like so you weren't that far away from her so it wasn't like you guys traveled around it the world looking for truth. It took them a while to find her. Yeah, but but oh. they but they didn't they didn't try other places. Like they didn't try other countries or anything. It was like, oh, it's just her. Oh, maybe they had a uh, you know those Chinese cookies where there's a saying inside and it said she's close. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I support this theory. <laughs> And, I mean, it would make sense. It really, it really fucking would. It really would. And and um, because otherwise, I'd go like, okay, like, I'm putting myself into their shoes for a minute here. Yeah. And I would learn there's a fifth one, but they are hidden. I would probably try to scour the earth, you know, not just yeah. a few blocks. But that's another my- thing. That's another thing too. And when and when uh, uh, he yeah. saw her, he knew it was her. How? Yeah. How did he know? Exactly. And another thing too is like a name like Variety, Verity, fucking whatever. Variety. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> that kind of stands out. That's a weird name. I know. You know, and it would be well, like it's, it's like it's it's. Well, no, but that's what I'm saying doesn't make sense. It's like, you gave her a name that matches her thing. You gave Heath yeah. death, and he switches it to Heath. What the fuck happened with Joss, Ewan, and Xander? Like, like... I don't know. Can you do an anagram with Plague? I don't I don't think you, you can. You probably it could, if you tried. Well, and it would sound maybe a little bit too weird, but Verity, it, it, 
it kind of it kind of is a, a name that could you know exist i'm pretty sure there's a lot already just like there's temperance that's know, true other, yeah you know but i mean but it is it is a different name it's not like that's not a normal name no I'm not saying if your name is is Verity and we're making fun of you. I'm not making fun of you right now. I'm just in the context of this story. It doesn't make a lot of sense because she didn't know. Well, I mean, no, she doesn't know about the the horseman. But maybe that's why he knew it was her. Yeah, because of her name. Maybe, but then it's wait, like, hold on, hold on. It's like he went to work at her play at her. Work yeah, place. He, yeah, he went to work at her <laughs> work because he knew where she was. Yeah. How it though that part makes no right? sense. Right? Like to me that's like creepy stalker. It's like, okay, why didn't you see again what I'm talking about here? It could have been like maybe they bumped into her on the like oh oh okay, I know how to fix this. Okay. So okay. <laughs> let's say she's got her job, everything's fine and dandy, whatever, fucking whatever. So she's going down the street one day, maybe to get a cup of coffee or something, and she bumps into Xander. Because you don't see him till later. And she doesn't think mm-hmm. anything of it other than, oh, wow, that was, like, she's like, maybe she's like, oh, wow, it's like, she, like, looks up at him, and maybe it's like, wow, he's really attractive. And with her character, she wouldn't say anything, so she'd be like, oh, you know, sorry, and then kind of walk off. But Xander would know who she was. Yeah. Because you don't see Xander till later on in the fucking book. So it would have been like, then he could have been like, guys, I found her, she's in this town that we're in. And then he would describe yeah. her to him, and they could go on, like, a little hunt looking for her without being creepers. You know, and then she would just go on all her daily life, and then maybe, maybe that would be like, oh, we found where she works. There's an opening how to work. Heath, you know how to work there. Apply to work there. Y- you know what I'm saying? Like, it would have been like... Yeah, and that would have worked. Like, that would have made more sense, and it would have been more interesting. And then she and Xander were already of the spark, you know, but she wouldn't and think anything of it. But think about it. No matter how you approach the their meeting it wouldn't make any difference because she can know when people lie to her. Yeah. So, sky's the limit. She could have gone another way so that it would make more sense. Yeah. Anyways. Exactly. Well, but then you could have also kept the part where she hits Heath with her car and it's like, oh shit, I just hit the new guy. Like, I feel so bad. You know? And she, like, I mean... A normal person would have been, like, injured. If you're not a normal person, you know that the person who hits you doesn't know you're not a normal person. You should at least... And, 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 and didn't she didn't she bring up how he dented her car? Did he dent her car? Or am yeah, I just imagining that? He did. Yeah, but so I, then I, it's like, you're I a conspiracy theorist, and here's this guy I you hit with your car. Right away. Like, that <laughs> guy is... That guy is walking. He's probably... Like, his spine must be split in half, and he doesn't know it because he's running on adrenaline or something? No, 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 no. I just heard another little poem that doesn't make sense. She's a conspiracy theorist. She just hit yeah. this dude with her car, he dented her car, and he was fine. She should have been like, oh my god, I bet he's like the CIA super soldier or something like that. Oh, yeah. Like, But she doesn't or even think that. Because that's what I would have done. I know it sounds crazy, but if I hit someone with my car, I, I hope I never do, but they're just... Fine and dandy, no blood, no cuts and bruises. They're just, they're just chill. And then I look at my car, and I'm like, mm, I'm gonna get back in my car and drive away very fucking fast, cause that, that shit ain't normal. No, that <laughs> um, I would probably like either run away or drive away because. But as a conspiracy the theorist, possible, she should have thought of that. The only possible thing here is that that person. Probably is a zombie or something. But or right? Crazy like it's that. like it's like mmm. No. How Why about is a fucking vampire from Twilight? Right. How about fucking no? <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's like. I know. Ugh. Anyways, I personally I don't I think we <laughs> I think we said enough about. Oh no, this. we've said more than enough because it's, it's. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't. I don't either. We I, talked about the whole thing. So, if, I, if you have some time to spend and you want to see what it, see what what it's all about, just give it a go. It's if a dollar want, or free. Don't spend more yeah. than a dollar, though. Don't spend more than a dollar. Um, I think we should just end it here. What do you think, Fel? Peace. 
All right. We love you guys. We hope you enjoyed uh, Book Rambles podcast. And as always, we will see you next time. Lots of smooches. Smooches. Bye.